I'm Gizzy Erskin. I'm a chef, restaurant turned food writer. So I'm going to show you three different recipes with a new brand called Zen B. They have a lot of the same ethos that I do. I've worked with a lot of gluten-free pastas before and I had such high hopes for this and it really didn't disappoint. It's made from yellow peas. It has the exact same al dente bite that you have from wheat pasta, but on top of that, it's high in fiber, it's high in protein. So the recipe I'm going to be showing you is a really famous traditional recipe. It's called penne a la vodka, a favorite of one of my heroes, Audrey Hepburn. So I thought I'd take the challenge of making it, but sticking to the Zembi ethos and making it fully plant-based. This dish can be made from start to finish in 30 minutes. Okay then, so here's how we're gonna cook this dish. You're gonna heat some oil over a medium heat in a saucepan. You're gonna add your garlic and fry that gently for about five minutes, being careful not to let it burn. Got two of these uh, chilies and I'm just gonna literally crumble them both in. Dried chili is essential in a dish like this. So here's a fun bit. We're gonna squeeze in our tomatoes so that they're really rustically broken down. The second that you put those tomatoes in, the juice from them will stop that garlic cooking, which is exactly what we want. Next up, we're gonna add vinegar. That brings a bit of tartness to it. And then our special ingredient is 100 mils of vodka. If you don't drink alcohol full stop, you can just uh, add water or just add some extra tomato. Now add your sugar and your salt. Stir and now let it reduce for about 20 minutes over a medium low heat, stirring regularly until the tomatoes are completely broken down. Now it's time to add the sauce to a food processor along with the nutritional yeast. What that adds is this delicious cheesiness. Lots of pepper, get some salt, another splash. I know that seems like a lot of vodka, but the rest of it, the alcohol will have cooked off and you do want that heat. Then we're gonna add our cashew cream and blitz it until you have a really smooth and silky sauce. Return the sauce to a saucepan and bring it to temperature. You may want to add more salt or more pepper at this stage. Now you add in the torn up basil. It's time to cook our Zen B penne. Drain the pasta, reserving a splash of pasta water. Now you add the pasta back with the water to the sauce and stir well until combined. It's time to plate up and serve with a grinding of black pepper and a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And if it was up to me, I'll have a nice glass of red wine too. To find out more about the pasta range and see other recipes I've created, visit the Zembi website.